Story time with Fergie and friends. Hello everybody, girls and boys, mums and dads, aunts and uncles and granny and grandpa. Well, children, here we are. It's story time with Fergie and friends. It's Little Red story time because we've been very, very lucky because you know that Little Red has opened up her house, Buttercup Cottage. It's not our house. Oh, right, sorry. Yeah, sorry, Little Red. Yes, yes. No, it's a, um, it's a cottage. It's Buttercup Cottage and it's in Bluebell Wood, close to Christmas Tree Wood. Roni the pink pony. Yes, she has a pink pony called Roni and Gino the dog with a very waggy tail. Very waggy tail, waggy tail. And a little blue. Come on, little blue, come and play. Look, here's little blue. And as you know, hello, my name's little blue. And as you know, he has a bee on his bonnet, not in his bonnet. So here are the friends. Now, they have very, very kindly said that we can all be in Buttercup Cottage to read stories. So we want to share with you. And Little Red decided that she was going to put on her headdress, especially for the children and everybody uh, in the Ukraine. In honor of everybody in the Ukraine, we're here today to say to you, we're here with you. And we're going to read this story and keep reading stories. And uh, so today, everybody, Little Blue. Actually, look at Little Blue's colors. Yeah, he's got the colours on, hasn't he? Now, come on, little blue. We need to we need to shine some light, like your wonderful sunflowers. Look, look at that! Isn't it amazing? Do you know that sunflower turns to the light? Yes. So we need to shine some light on everybody out there who's going through a difficult time, or not even a difficult time, just going through time. And we're here. And so, little red, thank you so much. It's very kind of you. Thank you very much. Yes. Very nice. The first book, uh, which room would you like to go to? Oh, right. Yes, well, we're going to stay in this room. This is the main room. This is Little, Re Little Red's main room. So, Roni, are you ready? Waggy tail. There you go, Gino. And we're going to shine some light, more light. There's my little sunflower light. It's solar paneled sunflower light. Look at that. Mm -hmm. And Little Red's going to bring these to you uh, in Poland and... and uh, on all the borders and to the children of Ukraine. Okay, so hello, little moon. Here we go, and how exciting it is. We're going to have lovely books today. I'm putting on my reading goggles, and away we go. Hello, little moon by Anne Hamilton. Thank you so much, Anne Hamilton. What a beautiful, beautiful little book this is, and it's very, very exciting. So here we go. Hello, little moon. Where have you been all day? Are you here to come and play? Sweet, isn't it? It's a very nice little story. No, little one, said the moon. It's time to go to bed soon. It's dark outside, but I shine bright, lighting the rivers with my moonlight. Well, we all need moonlight, don't we, and light. See the rabbits cuddle up to sleep? Shush, don't make a sound, don't make a peep. The birds snuggle in their nest. They need to sleep. They need their rest from chirping. They need to, to sleep. Even big bears go to sleep. Hmm, do, do you think they count sheep? Hmm, maybe honeypots, I feel, don't you? Some animals sleep in the day instead of the night. They move in the dark and in the moonlight. Oh, I wonder which animals do that. Some animals go to sleep just like you, whilst others, like owls and foxes, have lots to do. Tweet, 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 tweet. But moon, why can't I? I'm not tired. Can I try? I'm sure you can, said the moon, but you'll feel sleepy very soon. Everyone needs to sleep. It doesn't matter if you're an owl or a sheep. Cast your eyes up to the sky and see the stars way up high. They're my friends. They twinkle with me. We're in the sky for all to see. In the sky till the sun appears. A beautiful day awaits you, my dear. So much to do, so much to see. You'll need to rest. I hope you agree. So close your eyes and listen to me as you gently drift off to sleep. Night, night. What a lovely book. Thank you so much, Anne. Even big bears need to sleep. Do you think they can't sleep? Mm -hmm. I think you can go to sleep now. With Fergie and friends. With Fergie and friends.